Meditations for Every Day in the Year by Bishop Richard Challoner. Maundy Thursday on our Saviour's preaching from the cross. Consider first that the whole life and doctrine of Christ was a continual lesson to his followers to renounce self-love with its three wretched branches vis-a-vis -vis the lust of the flesh, that is the love of sensual pleasures, the lust of the eyes, that is the love of the perishable goods of this world, and the pride of life. These are the unhappy sources of all our evils, which withdraw us from our allegiance to God and make us exchange the fountain of life for poisonous puddles that can never satisfy our thirst. These are the foundations of a worldly and sinful life and the broad road to death and hell. Alas, we love ourselves and our own will more than God. We are ever full of ourselves, sensual, covetous, presumptuous, as if we were some thing, and we can bear with nothing that opposes or contradicts us. But God, but mark in particular my soul, the sermon which the Son of God preaches from the cross, and see how loudly he there condemns from that pulpit all the illusions of our self-love, with all the maxims and practices of the world and the unhappy attachments of worldlings, their carnal and sensual affections. Oh, remember that what he suffers is by all his own choice, and this is not only to the end that he may expiate our sins, but also in order to undeceive us in the preposterous judgment we make of things, and to teach us to embrace what he embraces, to despise what he despises, and to condemn what he condemns. Learn then, my soul, at the foot of the cross, to overcome thy pride by the great example of the voluntary humiliations of the Son of God, by love of the world, by his voluntary poverty, and by his being stripped of all things, and abandoned by all, and thy love of pleasures, by his voluntary sufferings and inexpressible torments. Consider secondly that Jesus Christ, in offering himself upon the cross a sacrifice to his Father, without any manner of reserve, and in dying in pure obedience to his heavenly will, preaches another excellent sermon to us, containing the whole perfection of a spiritual life, which consists in giving our whole selves to God and in being obedient unto death. Yes, Christians, if you desire to be perfect, you must learn of your dying Saviour to make this offering of yourselves without reserve to his Father and to your Father. You must join your offering with his and make it by his hands that it may be acceptable. You must make it every day and oftentimes in the day. O oh, give him then daily your soul and body, give him your understanding, your memory and your will, give him your whole being with all that belongs to it, both for time and eternity, and he will give his whole self to you. O oh, happy exchange, offer yourself then daily to do for him whatsoever he pleases, to suffer for him whatsoever he pleases, dedicate yourselves eternally to his love, and resolve to die a thousand deaths rather than to forfeit in anything the obedience you owe to this your Father, Maker, King, and God. Consider thirdly the particular lessons that our Lord also gives in his seven last dying words upon the cross. One, of perfect charity to our enemies, by his praying for them and excusing them to his Father. Quote, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. 2. Of mercy and compassion for sinners, by the plenary indulgence he imparts to the penitent thief. Quote, Amen, I say to thee, this day thou shalt be with me in paradise. 3. Of duty to our parents, in his recommending his virgin mother to the care of his beloved disciple, and of a filial devotion to her is recommended for a mother to us all. Quote, Woman, behold thy son, behold thy mother. 4. Of an earnest thirst for the conversion and salvation of all men by that which he expresses in his word, I thirst. 5. Of fervent prayer to God under anguish and desolation by the fervour of his prayer, quote, My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? 6. Of perseverance to the end until we have consummated, that is, completely finished, 
the work for which he came into the world by that word of his, it is consummated. 7. Of committing ourselves both in life and death by a perfect resignation into the hands of God by his great example. Quote, Father, into thy hands I commend my spirit. O oh, let us learn these last lessons of our dying Lord. Conclude. To frequent daily this school of the cross, if thou would learn to be wise indeed, but more especially take care to study well at the foot of the cross those two most essential lessons, the renouncing thine own will and embracing the will of God by a resolute conformity and obedience, even unto death. <laughs>